What's up, Mad25 Gamers? Welcome to today's video, guys. And today we're going to be talking about kind of the most important aspect of the Steam of the Week. Actually setting your audibles. Actually having a thought process of what you're doing. And uh, we're going to be using this. Obviously, you want to go over to Custom Playbooks because that's the only way you can set your audibles. In Madden 25, we're going to check out the Indianapolis Colts Offensive Playbook. And uh, we're going to set up our audibles here. So um, the five sets for success scheme, we start and end with the shotgun doubles on. Unfortunately, in this playbook, it's actually called the shotgun normal set. And uh, I like to play wide receiver drag a lot. I don't think it gets enough credit for being one of the main plays I actually do run from the Colts book. Uh, it's a very good play. And in Madden, uh, in Madden 09, I think, if I, I think if I remember correctly, Madden 09 it was actually even better than it is this year. But it's a very good concept and a very good play, and it's always a good uh, option. The next play that I like to set up as my audibles here is the levels concept, or it's also called the Colts Divide. The reason I really like this play, we already talked about it in the breakdown. I just think it beats so many zone coverages. It's actually very good against man coverage, and uh, hopefully we'll show you that in the game of the week. Our run audible down here, we really like to set the halfback quick base. Quick bases in Madden NFL 25 are very effective, and they just do a really good job for us. So that's why we like to set that. And then the last play that I want to set as a main audible here, I was thinking about uh, the halfback angle play. I was also thinking about the curl slot shake. Um, but I think the play that I like the most is the PA Colt seams. It's a four verticals passing concept, but it has um, that far left receiver on a stock fade, and we can use or catch those uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. So that's why I like to set up in there. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then uh, or if you don't know what a stock fade is or you don't uh, feel confident in your ability to click on, then you might just put uh, something like the halfback angle or the curl slot shake in there. But I like the PA Colt seams. Uh, that's just kind of my uh, that's my kind of play that I just I just want for me um, but obviously you can tailor your audibles to the way you want to play all right guys so our man our three-headed rushing attack from this pet pla uh, Wow uh, well, have a little trouble talking there from this playbook is the power o and then the fullback inside and I really like those two plays um, and then I also like to set the halfback slip screen as an audible because it's a nice little quick pass complement to the run and the only other play that I really like I really like the halfback wheel and the fullback trail uh, but I think uh, when it comes down to it uh, as far as a playbook as far as a play that I would use more of would be the halfback wheel there's just a lot more versatility in it um, whereas the fullback trail there's not quite as much versatility it's really only a quick pass Whereas the HB will, it could be a quick pass. It could even be a base play. It's a very powerful play, and I like it a lot. So we're going to set that in our audibles here. All right, guys. Our main beating formation was the shotgun bunch tight end, and it's actually one of my favorite formations in the game. Um, the play we actually talked about in the video, I th I'm pretty sure, was the tight end corner, and that's going to be my main audible. It's going to be the main play that I run a lot of, and uh, we're going to set that as our R1 audible. I like to set the... Um, I, I really like to set the mesh as one of my audibles. I think the mesh is really effective uh, because you get that corner out going to the left side, but you also get that out of the tight end corner, and I guess because of that, I'm going to put the Indy Bunch in there, uh, but that's just my uh, my way of doing things. You guys could put the mesh in. You could put the tight end corner in. You could do whatever you wanted to. Um, the next play I want to put in uh, is the PA All-Cross. I really like this play. It's just another uh, variant play that I can run from this formation. Uh, you know, the tight end corner has everybody going to the right side. The Indy Bunch, or excuse me, the tight end corner can have everybody going to the right. It can have everybody going to the left. The Indy Bunch has everybody going to the right. And the PA Cross has everybody going to the right. And then the, uh, the, the play that I'm going to also add in here is uh, the the like I said the tight end corner can be a, that kind of play where you can go both ways. Uh, you can have the halfback off tackle in here if you want to. I personally uh, sometimes put this X spot in there, and the reason I put this X spot in there is because I like spot routes. I like the way they beat zone coverages. Uh, you could also put the halfback slip screen in there. Again, this is just kind of something that's your de your decision. But uh, for me, I my money, I'm going to go X spot because I think it beats zone very very well, and it's a very nice complement to a otherwise man beating formation. All right, guys. So our zone beater here it comes to us from the shotgun tray open. And the plays that we like to set in our audibles, I personally like to set the Y corner. The spacing halfback wheel play is something that I've already talked about on my YouTube channel. Uh, I hope that you guys were around for that video. But basically what we're talking about is this is a set within a set formation. Or, or excuse me, this is a set within a set play. 
So because of that, we can, uh, if we audible to wide corner, then audible to spacing halfback will and put the square receiver on a streak. You'll see a little glitch thing happen, and that's why I like to put it in there. It's just that option. And so if they're ever in like a cover zero, I can audible to that play and uh, really kill the uh, coverage deep. So that's why I like it. Some people don't like it that play because they don't like glitch plays. If you don't like that play, then I would suggest uh, four verticals. But I really like that play just because I don't really care if it's if it's glitchy or not. I'm just going to do the best thing for my team to win. Uh, and then the uh, other play we like to use here is the stick and nod. It's just a really good play. It beats man coverage. Uh, it also beats a little mini zone coverages, and I love the, the unique routes that you get from it. And our final play here from this formation is the read option. The read option is a very good running play. It's actually, I think, the read option is the most underrated running play in Madden NFL 25 uh, because it's in so many formations. We want to, you know, try to do these cute runs like the buck sweep or the veer option or, uh, you know, or the inside zone or all that stuff. But I think the read option is a very effective run, and uh, I think it's even more effective when you do it out of a passing formation. Alright guys, so our blitz beater is the only thing we haven't covered, and we talked about that yesterday uh, from the pistol wide trips. And what I like to do here is I also like to run a little bit from this formation. Uh, so I'll set the um, I set the halfback stretch as my audible to the right. I set the read option weak as my uh, audible underneath here. I set the read option weak. You could set actually, you know what? Uh, now that I think about it, I'm gonna go ahead and put that strong power over the stretch. Even though I really like the stretch, uh, I think the stretch is underrated, but uh, I, I do think that the strong power does give it a, a little bit of an edge. And then the play that we talked about yesterday, the wide receiver screen, and then uh, you could place the smash, uh, the double china. You could put any of these plays in here. Uh, you know, of, of course, you could put any, like the PA reads really good. I mean, they have a lot of good plays here in their pistol wide trips. This may actually be the best pistol wide trips in the game. And, uh, you know, the smash is kind of something everybody does. But if you want to be kind of unique, I would say that go with the double china because you get that post route on the far left side of the screen. Whereas in the smash, it's, a, it's just a deep in route. You could go with this undergo because that R1 streak route will beat the cover two, uh, cover two sink, cover two, and cover three uh, just because of the way that it angles in um, there's a lot of different things that you could do from this package but I think I go for where I tend to uh, kind of fall is either this PA Colt slant because again you get that same streak you get that same streak uh, but you also get a post route and a little nice little in route uh, or I you know I, I could talk about this for hours guys but overall guys I go PA read because I think it gives you the most amount of uh, unique routes and unique trajectories uh, that you can have but that is how we set up our audibles from the uh, Indianapolis Colts playbook. And uh, that is going to do it for our offensive scheme of the week. You want to save your playbook, just whatever you want to call it. I'm personally going to call it Colts. But that's the video, guys. And I hope you appreciate the time we spent, it, spent this week breaking down the Colts playbook. And, guys, if you could just do me one favor in the comments section, tell me what was your favorite play I broke down this week from the shotgun uh, or excuse me, from the uh, Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you guys later.